Hi my friends, today we model this part. It has uh, some uh, features bef below and the name is lower case. This is the drawing. We start by creating this volume. This uh, is the thickness, radius 77 plus 3 is this radius, then 81, then 54 plus 3. Let's do this. New standard millimeters IPT, new sketch this plane but with x to the right then a radius you see this is the radius of uh, 77 plus 3 we continue with line keep press the left button and go here then keep press the left button go here and find the tangency this is missing we apply tangent also here then trim then the same horizontal of these two points this is uh, radius 54 plus 3 and the distance between the two arcs is 81 finish sketch this is 75 and this is 20 extrude 75 minus 20 okay there is a fillet here of 10 Okay, then we apply shell with the thickness of 3, but without this lid. Okay, the first volume is this one. Now we add this feature, thickness of 5, and uh, this distance is 71 minus 54 minus 3 if I use external plane is XY okay F7 we draw a rectangle from this corner then the horizontal is uh, 71 minus 54 minus 3 tab 5 finish sketch we apply sweep inventor find the unique close contour and select curve or edge we select an edge this edge okay now we have to place this uh, feature diameter of 20 angle of 12 distance of 20 again xy plane 
F7. We project this arc and we have the starting point for that uh, sketch line from this point down right face and back here I don't know if this is it is not projected this face to align this line with this line good now this is the axis or center line dimensions are twenty diameter of twenty and angle of uh, twelve divided by two finish sketch revolve and now be careful because I don't use join I don't use cut I don't use intersect but new solid you'll see why okay now we have two objects one is this body and the other is this feature okay we turn back the part we select this face this is the center point we draw a line a vertical line of 100 we place this midpoint of the line with the center point and two points at the ends of this line good finish sketch now we apply a special procedure we use sketch driven we select this independent object and okay and now we have all the three you see solid one and solid two we combine them combine this is the main body or base body and all the three are the tool bodies okay now we have here only one solid next is uh, this three of metric 8 15 12 let's place them hole face center 15 12 metric 8 it is already placed because I work here and I create the part before to present here to you plus and also place the other now we apply this radius to to not forget two millimeters is by default okay next are these uh, holes eight of metric eight the distance from the center is radius 87 
and we'll use uh, offset of the contour by applying this subtraction 94 minus 87 don't forget this is the face projection and projection then offset of 94 minus 87 okay I place points one two three four five you see these lines yes and this one but this two are not uh, fixed I place the angle there is an angle here of 120 120 and they are mobile yes you see I didn't place this in the center now it is I draw a line then I place the midpoint of this line on the same horizontal with a center point coincident here and now it's okay finish sketch and hole metric 8 but through the part I forgot this point cancel double click point at this point once again hole through the part okay now we see that we have a note here all chamfers are one at 45 degrees where are them one is here and the other is uh, right up here okay let's apply this uh, chamfers chamfer not two by but one to all these eight holes and back to this uh, other holes okay now we can verify the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is uh, identical I cancel the modification because this is what we did here the material is uh, still carbon we hide the edges and we apply other light this light now we can compare the two and we don't see any difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye